Hello guys, here is part 11 of making a game with Unity and I will call the damage function in this on animation events that are raised when the enemies shoot. In the last part I added the take damage functionality for the player as you can see it here, but this is always called with a constant value when the enemies appear which is not correct. I want to call this when the enemies actually shoot and that's why I'm adding an animation event for the shoot animation. So I will select this animation here and at about this point I will add an event. Open here the events tab, add the event and call this shoot event. Ok, now I add a new script called shoot handler in which I have to implement this shoot event method that is called by the animation event and I will add this to the Toon Soldier game object. Then I double click the script to open it in Visual Studio and I remove the start and update methods because we don't need them. We can't use the soldier script which is assigned to the parent object because the script has to be assigned to the game object for which the animation event is fired but that's ok, we can just open the soldier script in which we called the shoot event already, remove this line, copy the shoot event method and paste it to the new shoot handler script. But we don't want to cause always 10 damage points when the event is fired. I will add a random logic to decide if the player is hit at all. For this I use the range method of the random class that returns a random integer between 0 and 1. And if it is greater than 0 I define that the player has been hit and then I use again the range method to calculate a random number of damage points, let's say between 0 and 5. And this is the amount of damage that is passed to the game controller by using the method setDamage. Alright, that's simple but it should work now. Let's start the game and try this logic. Nice. If I'm fast enough, it could be that I don't lose health, if not, I have to take a random amount of damage. Ok guys, so far so good, in the next part we will add a counter that defines the time the player has to survive. If you like this tutorial, stay tuned, like and subscribe to my channel to not miss the next part. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.